Hi, my name is Ted Haggard. I'm the senior pastor at St. James Church in Colorado Springs. And I don't know if you've Googled Tim Tebow, but you can Google Tim Tebow and you can see some of the most awful, brutal, evil, just mean, evil-spirited, wicked comments about a guy. I mean to tell you the things people are saying and doing about him are awful. But here's what he's doing. He's playing football, which is his job, and he loves it. He's thanking God when something good happens to him. That's a positive thing. He's living a de decent life, going to church once in a while. He's a good guy. And even in the midst of that, they eat him alive on the web and sometimes on television and other places. If you Google somebody like George Bush, you can either even Google somebody like Mother Teresa and people make awful comments about them. And so what that does is that causes every one of us to, number one, realize that we can't believe everything we read on the web. We all know that have been newsmakers at one time or another in our lives. We certainly can't believe the things we read about, we read about others in the press. And so how can we know what other people think? We've got to let them speak for themselves. I love watching Tim Tebow. I let him speak for himself. I love watching George Bush. I let him speak for himself. I let Obama speak for himself. I let the different political candidates and the political different figures in the world speak for themselves. Let them represent themselves. Rather than letting other people make our decisions for us, let's let people speak for themselves. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing YouTube videos and one of the reasons why I write materials and meet with our own little church on Sunday mornings and things like that. I went quiet for a couple of years and it was a disaster because others felt so free under the banner of the First Amendment to make up quotes, make up exaggerations, lie. Just I don't know where it came from. And so now I just want to represent myself. I've been married to Gail for 33 years. We have five children. One of them's married. We're happy as a family. We're contented as a family. It's great. We pastor a nice little church in Colorado Springs, St. James Church. It's delightful. It's got a strong board. It's growing very nicely. And I love the scriptures. I love the Lord. I'm imperfect, but at the same time, a saint because of faith and belief in him. And so God's working his righteousness in the midst of my human fallibility. And so I'm just like every other believer on the face of the earth. I want to be better than I am, and I'm better today than I was 10 years ago. And so every one of us are like that. Tim Tebow's the same way. So is our next president. So is Obama. So are the different ones. And so I encourage every one of you, have a little love. Have a little grace. If you, as Grandma used to say, if you don't have something good to say, hmm, maybe you shouldn't say it. Thanks for taking time today.